What's up, guys? We're here at uh, the Balloon Festival, and we heard there were some classic cars here, so we're just gonna roll. That's what my channel is all about. Anytime there's classic cars, whether car show, driving on the road, I'm, I'm really good at that spot. I'm on the road. I'm just gonna be filming, baby. We got the Mook Daddy here. There you go. Cool deal. I'm gonna put a tight leash on him today, man. I'm getting in trouble yesterday. What do we got here? Oh, let me take off my phone cover. Makes noise when I have the phone cover on here. And we got our buddy Mitch here. We did a 57 Safari review. He's here. We got an e Econoline truck. How do you say that? Econoline? Econoline? Yeah. Yeah, these, yeah. Are, these have become popular, huh? A single cab, yeah. They got kind of like the buggy-eyed front Econ end, right? The Econoline is the uh, SUV. Uh, the Over the Hill Gang. I've actually filmed this one a few times driving on the road. They put the cones there. They don't want people to walk in between the cars, I think. Very good idea. It's not a good idea, though, for people that want to film. Can't really see into the cars. You're right. I like this hard top. Hard top's cool. Nice car. 55. I saw an awesome 55 convertible yesterday. If you haven't looked at the uh, Thursday video I posted, man, that restored 55 Chevy convertible was amazing. We've got a 32 Ford here. Very cool. Very cool. These are all really nice cars. You know that? These are all nice cars. You know, nicely built. 32. I like I like that. Where are that? That Ford right here. Yeah. What year is this? 34. Oh, because you knew that because of the fenders? Oh. Oh, the grill's more of an angle and cut down, yeah. I like, the, I like the fully fendered front ends. Very cool. There's Mitch's 57 Pontiac. Very cool. And Mitch is not around. Of course, we did a review of this car in my driveway a few weekends ago. Great car. Love this car, man. It looks incredible. It always looks incredible. Always looks incredible. If Mitch was here, I'd say hello, but he's not. He's probably walking around. You get the front end of that Ford right here. These are very cool. And they've become quite popular. Very interesting body style. And then we got Mitch's here. Just, just great car, man. I love, I love seeing this car, man. It's great. And we got a '57 Chevy Bel Air with 210 trim. I don't know how that works out. Bel Air had a longer trim on the fin on the quarter top of the quarter but then it had bel air trim you know so it's mismatched between a 210 and a bel air very clean car these are all very nice cars interiors kind of whatever but i had to say that under my breath very cool corvette Over the Hill Gang, Crossfire Injection. Very nice 69 Camaro. 
Wow, this thing looks fresh. That's an... Oh, yeah, Pontiac Safari. That's the one with the brass liftgate. This is a nice car right here, man. 396. Very, very cool. stripes i like vinyl tops i don't know if you guys uh you guys really pr probably realize that i know i've made so many comments about vinyl tops i love vinyl tops just gives it a nice two-tone look yeah there's a little bit of cars here not a huge amount but man, this is a nice truck right here i don't know what uh this is a chevy or a ford uh, this, this is nice, man. It's got the exhaust coming out the side right here. That's cool. I wonder what that's for right there. It's interesting. Two bolts, kind of two screws right there, random. I like the, I like the three-piece corner windows. Nice interior. It's got leather interior. It's a nice truck, man. It's a nice color, too. It's great lighting right now. I didn't look at this 57 right here. Nice 57 Chevy. Again, there's a, it's a Bel Air with... 210 trim i guess it's a 210 and then they just put the bel air i don't know which one it is you know i, I think it's a 210 and then they just added you know because this is supposed to this is supposed to be painted on a 210 it's not supposed to have the quarter inserts the bel air is the only one with those quarter aluminum panels And then Bel Air's, you know, have everything's gold, right? They have gold grill um, on the fenders. This is gold, right? And then on the top of the hood, the V is gold. The Chevrolet is gold. So I love gold accents. I love the Bel Air over the 210. That's just me. Let's go check out this 55 Safari. So I filmed this one a while ago. I, I spotted it at the uh, the boat and uh, the boat broker. Yeah, this is it. And this has got uh, so this has got a brass lift gate. This is an early car, so lift gates. You know that's my my deal, right? I spotted it. This has got a brass lift gate. Not many people can spot that. I'm probably one of the few people who can spot it in a picture. I just I've just gotten to be so good at it. So, a couple things on this car. They didn't have open wheel wells. He put, he put that there. And I want to say they had a plate that goes right here. A stainless or chrome plate that covers it up. So it's like a bumper extension. Pontiacs had the dip right here. Nomads were cut straight. It's an interesting, and this is this thing's customized as far from stock on the inside. You can see a lot's going on inside the car. It's got a four speed, I think. Now he's got a 454 under the hood. Chevy. I always liked, I always liked the front here on these cars. Got a very cool look. And then on top here, they got these cool, these are so iconic. These hood strips right here, so cool. 
It's just Pontiac. And it's got the hood ornament there. It lights up. It's got the Indian. That's really cool. That, could, that will actually light up. How cool is that, man? 57 has like a... 57 has something on the fenders and 55 and 56 have uh, the hood ornament that lights up. Let's see what the price is on this. 67.5. If anyone's interested, there it is. The boat broker. 67.5. And it's an early body. It's got the brass lift gate, man. I wonder if they even know. Probably not. Let's see the body number just to kind of confirm what I'm talking about. Two oh eight. I was right. I can't see that. Yep, two oh eight body number. So Mad Mooks was right. Early body car. First five hundred had brass lift gates. Chevy and Chevy and Pontiac brass lift gates, and they they used brass because they couldn't get these things to fit. So they beat the hell out of them. And they went back and forth with the tooling. So they would, they would take a sample, they would, they would beat it up and get it to fit and get it better than what they had. And then they send it back and they, and they make another one. They retool and make another one. They, keep, they just kept doing that until they got it to where they wanted it. And then they made the switch to pot metal, which is much cheaper, obviously. The reason why they didn't use pot metal, you can't beat on it like you can brass. So, very interesting backstory on the brass lift gates. It's a, uh, it's something if you have an early body car, uh, that everyone always brings up the brass lift gate first. That's kind of the conversation piece. And also, these were, these were chromed on some of the early ones. These are supposed to be stainless, but they're chrome brass. I don't know about this piece, but I know these pieces. The curved are chrome brass on the early ones. Watch, lots of, lots of interesting little tidbits. And brass just didn't fit that well. Now, guys with nomads, they look at this thing and they think, man, it fits pretty good. Someone like me, uh, it can be a lot better. I mean, you can just see how Look at that right there, man. That is crazy to me. How it lifts up like that. It's supposed to be in line with the tailgate, top of the tailgate. The rest of it is fine, but it, it goes up right there. That's just crazy, man. They're just, they were just very crude. For the most part, it's a stock dash, and they got the steering wheel, and then you know some things below it. But I mean, he's got all kinds of cars here. You got a Studebaker, and then you got a Cadillac over there. What's up, man? Did you, you saw this thing over here? They want 67,000. That's a lot of money, huh? A lot of money. It's a, bra it's a brass liftgate car, too. See this 56 Chevy. It's a very nice car. Is your car? It's always, whenever I see, it's one of the nicest here. Always it's one of the nicest. Thank you. Yeah, very well done. That is interior. Dad's gonna talk. This is probably one of the nicest cars always when I see it. I always like to let the owners know. It makes them feel good, you know? I see a lot of cars and, you know, this is one of the nicest ones. I'm gonna stop and do an Instagram real quick. Hold on. Okay, we're back. Interior is just awesome. Really nice interior. And then you got the dash. The dash is really nice. No, no glove box, nothing. Just a leather wrapped 
just really nice interior, man. I mean, it's not a cheap job at all. This car overall is spectacular. Got an LS. I was just telling the owner how I liked how he used smoothie bumpers, front and rear. You know, a lot of these things people you know, people don't talk about. Uh, they walk by the car, they don't they don't notice a lot of this stuff. So, like, for example, no cow vent in the front there. You know, for the you know the fresh air that comes inside the car. You know, that's where the air enters, right? He deleted that. I mean, very clean look. I love that. That's really cool. No vent wing. Really, just opens it up. You know, I can really see good in t inside the car without the vent wing there. So, really cool. Let's see what he has for brakes. I'm a little surprised by the brakes, to be honest with you. Thought they would have been uh, maybe like a bear or a Will Wood. Really nice car. Love the colors too. Color great, great two tone. Very nice car. Uh, man, I love the interior. Interior is nice, man. I love the dash. The dash to me is really nice. I like that leather wrapped padded dash. Very cool. Okay, so I better walk around here. Can't get a clean shot anymore, so let's go to this one. Plymouth Fury. Now here's a car you don't really see much of. Plymouth Fury, it looks like a 60s, mid 60s probably, I don't know. And you just don't see a whole lot of these. Interesting roof line right here. Very sharp. A very open space here to really look into the interior compared to the two door sedan next to me, that 56. I mean, you can. It's one of the benefits of hardtops. I mean, you really can see into the interior very well. Let's see what we got here. So Willys. This is a Willys, right? I'm not familiar with them, but I want to say this is a Willys, and they're always. They're always mean looking too. Big tires, supercharged, blown. Crazy. So this is supposed to be for all classic cars, huh? Yeah, this is awesome. Uh, yeah, they're probably expecting a lot more. Oh, tomorrow too? check out this car. I'm gonna go check out this. over here it just it just screams Cadillac it's really cool 
45,000. Look at the front ends on these two. Big front ends, a lot of chrome. Very cool. I like the color. Sponsors, the color is really nice. They'll pay out more money, they'll get more players. And we got the Studebaker. How about that? I love this color. This color is beautiful. Interesting body style. You could get in a tour and you knew you Look at this fin, man. It's crazy. These, I, I think these are very underrated, you know? They don't get enough appreciation out there in the hobby. Look at that. All right. Sorry about that, fellas. I'm on my dad's phone now because I ran out of batteries. I wasn't expecting a lot of film time today. Nice color. I don't think that's a stock color though. Yeah, yeah. It's Golden Hawk. Golden Hawk. Studebaker. It's got some cool pinstriping. My 56 Nomad had a lot of that pinstriping all over the car. Look at that shot, dude. That's a cool shot right there. All right, I'm gonna do an Instagram real quick. All right, I'm back. We got these big Cadillac front ends. They're so cool and so photogenic. Just a lot of chrome. What do you got there? Yeah. If anyone's interested in one of these cars, here's the information. Boat broker. Oh, I do. You want to get here? It's a four day event, three, four day events, so we'll probably come back this weekend. There's room for more cars. And look at that bow. You see that bow in the quarter? I don't know if that's factory or not. Cadillac's cool, man. That's that's very gangster, you know. I don't know if people use that term anymore, but it is very gangster. I love that color too. These two colors work really well together. Someone did like a '56 Chevy like that, or a '57 Buick. Those are cool. I like this color. I guess these are two different colors, huh? Let's see here. Yeah, they are two different colors. I don't know if you can see that. This one's darker than that. I think it is. 
very little. I saw it under the hood of this one. It's got TPI fuel injection. And then stretch sold his because he didn't like it. It's got a nice interior. It's got a stock steering wheel, but it's smaller. I see a lot of guys doing that. Stock style, diameter smaller. Yeah, we should go home and got Craigers. Craigers. Further down you go, the tighter the wild. Where's my dad at? A leash for him, I'm telling you. All right, guys, that's it for now. I think we'll come back, uh, come back tomorrow when there's more cars here. Thanks for watching.